lovely evening, a little bit late tonight, Monday night. Um, I wanted to give you five things I do to keep motivated. Um, one of which is actually surrounding myself with positive things, which includes people, uh, which includes a conversation I just had with my bestie, which is why I'm late. And that keeps, see, conversation with her, motivated spring in my step, which is great. So it's one of them. Um, but first I want to, I digress, I got started there. First, I want to say a lot of people actually think motivation is bullshit. They're like, no, motivation, you know, inspiration, or you've just got to have good habits, or it's about being strong, or willpower, or something like that. I've actually always said I have lots of willpower. It's the won't power I don't have. No, I won't have that chocolate. No, I won't go out. Not good at that. Anyway, um, I do believe in motivation. I actually think it's a really strong thing. I do believe, however, that we need internal motivation rather than external motivation. So we need to be able to motivate ourselves rather than having someone else motivate us, which doesn't mean we can't have motivational speakers or books or content to help us. But when we learn those skills and they're kind of embedded inside us, it does make it easier to get motivated. So how can you do it? Well, be kind to yourself, number one, because... You can't be motivated all the time. You can't be switched on all the time. You can't be go, 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 go all the time because you just fall over in a heap. So be kind to yourself. Sleep, food, gratitude, positivity, exercise, sex. Um, why is it when I say sex I get a little bit distracted? Um, books, music. God, motivational music. Like pump yourself up. That does wonders when you're feeling a bit of a, or you've got to get to the gym or you've got to write some content and you can't be bothered or you've got to go to your day job and you're like, oh, these people suck. Have amazing music or a podcast in the car or on your AirPods as you're getting there to motivate you, you know. That motivation will come from inside, but you might need that external trigger to help with the motivation. Another thing, as I said before, surround yourself with things and people that motivate you. Stay away from the Debbie Downers. You can't, I'm not going to tell you to cut out all the Debbie, Debbie Downers yeah, a little distracted, Sarah. <laughs> boom, boom. Um, oh, now I'm app distracted. Um, it's so you can't get rid of people out of your life. You can't, I'm not one for going, you know what, anyone who's negative in your life, just get rid of them. Don't see them, don't talk to them. You can't do that because, you know, some of them are your relatives. Some of them are your mothers. Some of them are your workmates. You can't actually ask them all, but you need to put up a bit of a filter with dealing with them and have more positivity to help balance out. So I'm moving the, I'm moving the phone like I'm balancing out um, that negativity. You need to, and surround yourself with positive things. So I'm just going to take you on a little bit of a walk, show you, oh, you're coming with me. <gasps> Oh, yes, yes, yes. Coming into Samantha's bedroom. How exciting. So, my wardrobe. Motivation, 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 motivation. My bathroom mirror. Motivation, motivation, motivation. It surrounds me everywhere. And you know what's really funny? When I used to have people come to my house, I would be so embarrassed that I had those things in my house. I'd take them all down. I'd be like, ooh, someone's going to make a judgment call. Oh, my God, she reads so-and-so or she believes in this. And I'm like, oh, I can't have that around. So I'd get rid of it all. I'd literally spend half an hour with getting all the blue tack off and hiding things away because I didn't want to be judged for having that stuff around. Well, if you, everybody, that stuff keeps me motivated. So I am going to have, here go, here's something to motivate me. I have a thing that I want to be on, speaking on 2,600 stages before my demise. So I actually have the seating plan for the Opera House concert hall there. And every time I'm on a stage at a speaking gig, I put a little cross in one of the seats. So it's going to be 2,600 seats, stages rather. That's motivating. Hello. Nothing you need to do. Number three is let go of the past, let go of obstacles that are in your way, drama. It's going to keep popping up. Take that time to digest them, come up with a combat plan, let it go. And yes, you could start singing Frozen. Let it go, let it go. Don't hold it, mate. Anyway, um, set goals. You know, a big, 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 big goal setter. I like goal, 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 goal. Not, that works. Set them, break them down and get to it. 
If you've got a goal that's in sight and you really believe in your gut, you can get there. Not the big, 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 big dream ones, which are great to have, but ones that you can actually kind of see are going to happen, that will absolutely help keep you motivated. So go, 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 go for that. And the last thing I do, which helps me stay motivated when I'm, if I'm getting in one of those, especially in winter, um, and I get very, if it's dreary, I get really, can't be bothered. Sunny and cold, not a problem, but if it's rainy and a bit dreary, my motivation goes out the window. So I really, I walk my talk on this one, I really do believe it. Do something really, really effing fun or charitable. Um, so dance, go to a party, go to a movie. If your idea of fun is a burlesque class, do it. If your idea of fun is cooking an incredible cake, do that. If Or do something charitable. Have a huck out at home, get rid of stuff, give it to charity. If you've got the financial ability to do it, give some money to charity. Go spend a day working in a soup kitchen. Anything like that will help motivate you. So they're my five things. Be kind to yourself. Surround yourself with positivity. Let go of the shit. Set goals and action them. Don't just set them and let them go into the ether. And do something fun or charitable. That's it. My five tips to stay motivated. And right now, I'm so motivated to eat my soup. My cauliflower and blue cheese soup. So have a great night, everybody. And thank you for watching.